what a beautiful but busy morning in my hometown. I received lots of DMs and comments lately asking me about how I created this effect. And let me tell you, it's pretty simple. Here is how I did it. Now, this effect can be done in the paid version as well as in the free version. Right now, I am using the paid version, but back in the day when I had no money, I was always using the free version, so I'm gonna show you both ways in this video. But before we can make this effect happen, we need two clips. The first one is just standing in front of the camera, acting like the effect is happening already. So the frame rate is 30 FPS and 1 60th of a second for the shutter speed. Now, the second clip is different since we need a motion motion blur we need to set a lower shutter speed. I used 1 8th of a second. Now for those two clips to look the same since we introduced more exposure due to a lower shutter speed you need an ND filter to compensate for that. Now that we have the two clips let's head into DaVinci Resolve. Cut the first clip to where the effect should start and end. Now the slow shutter speed clip has lots of dead frames so cut it down to just movement. Now duplicate them all for safety but also to have a background when masking out certain certain parts. Go to your hero shot and in the color page add a new node and go into the power windows or masking tab. Choose the radial one or whatever you like. Right click in the node tree and add alpha out. Now drag the blue point from the node to the alpha out so the mask is visible in your project. Mark all of the slow shutter clips and make a compound clip. Now speed up the clip to about 900 or whatever you want. Place it between your hero shots so your mask out version is on top. Then the ghost effect and then the safety background of your hero shot below. And since we only have movement behind us right now, you can cut out some clips, place them above your hero clip, so you will have more movement in front of you, but you need to mask them out manually as well. So go into the color tab and add a mask. Then we need to track it, so go into the tracking panel, make sure you're on the first frame, enable the frame option and add a keyframe by clicking on this point here. Now move a few frames ahead, move your mask and do that manually. Now you could let DaVinci Resolve track it by itself, it's gonna do that in the free version as well, but since it's just like 4 or 5 frames, you can do that manually. Now add an alpha out point as we did earlier, connect the blue dot with the alpha out so it's visible in the project. As you can see, some parts of the mask are overlapping and that's why it's so tedious in the free version. We have to go back, frame by frame, adjust the mask, refine it, make it a bit thinner, a bit wider. So yeah, it's much more time consuming. Now, if you have the studio version, this part of the video is for you and trust me, it's so fucking simple. Do the exact same with cutting out all the unwanted shit, copy them for safety and then head over to the color page to mask out the hero frame. And instead of using the radio mask we will use the magic mask a legendary tool in the paid version i'm gonna use the legacy mask or legacy mode it's the older version of magic mask the newer one is 2.0 i think and if i'm gonna use that my mac is gonna die so i'm not gonna do that draw a stroke and let it detect the hero now click on better so it will clean up the mask itself now click on track forward and wait add an alpha out node and connect it look how insanely clean this mask is make a compound clip with the ghost clips, speed it up, place it below the hero mask, then cut out some frames walking in front past the hero, place them above the main hero mask and then you just have to mask them out, like we did before with the magic mask, simple and fast. Enable the duplicate mask of yourself all the way at the bottom so you will get rid of some black frames. And that's it, easy clap. And as you can see the two clips are not matching in exposure values because I was outdoors in the woods like I'm right now. The the sun was shining, it was a cloudy day and when the clouds are in front of the sun sometimes then of course it's a bit darker. So you need to keep that in mind when recording these two clips. Shoot outdoors when it's cloudy for example, you have a plain wall behind you or shoot it indoors in your room because otherwise it's time consuming afterwards going into the color page, color correcting the exposure and then start editing and creating this effect. I hope this tutorial was helpful, if you have any questions drop them down below. Make sure to sign up to my waitlist for my school community, in which I will teach you to start living a lifestyle while making money with your content instead of working a 9 to 5 job like everyone else around you. If that's something for you, click on the first link in the description, sign up and I'm gonna see you on the other side. And as always, keep creating, be humble and stay disciplined.